Oldest thou the mote in thy that is in thy brother's eye. Mm -hmm. Do you know what a mote is? Yes. It's a speck of dust. Yes. We're quick to get point out somebody else's falling short, but justifying our own. But considereth not the beam that is in thy own eye. You don't think God's got a sense of humor? The beam? I imagine a six by six post about eight foot long hanging out this dude's eye and he's over here judging his brother for a single speck. Thank you, Lord, for being the judge. Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the mote out of thine eye and behold, the beam is in thy own eye. Before you go to judging somebody else, you need to make sure that your own house is clean. Yes, sir. You need to make sure that your own backyard's clean. You ain't got no business criticizing or judging anybody else. Ever. But they want to do that and they justify their own shortcomings. Yes. But they are so quick to pick out other people's. Just like we read in the Scripture in Luke, Thou hypocrite, first cast out First cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Alright, going back to Luke. We are not supposed to judge others. God is the judge. We must use common sense and discernment. And that comes with the relationship with God. That common sense and discernment. This is the major major point in receiving blessings from God. God wants to be appreciated. We wouldn't even be here today if it wasn't for God. Amen. Your loved ones wouldn't be in heaven in a safe place if it wasn't for God, folks. Um, and that's why we should always appreciate Him. He wants to be thanked. In the previous chapters, last week of the week, Jesus brought Lazarus forth from the tomb. What did He do before He did that? He thanked the Father in heaven before He ever called for Lazarus to come out of the tomb. He thanked God. <coughs> Thank God for His usage of you and His guidance. Yes. One act of kindness, one act of kindness can make the difference in the world. It really can. It will definitely make a difference in somebody's life to plant that seed of life and hope. Why this example for being thankful? I thank God that I'm not like the Pharisee. You know? I mean, I thank God that I have eyes to see and ears to hear. I thank God that I'm a humble man because of my life experiences. I thank God that He has given me the gift to stand up here and speak to people. I thank God for the discernment of His Holy Word. So that we can help people, like the uh, like the publican, humble. I thank God for allowing me to go through all that I've gone through. Can I get an amen? amen. amen. Everyone, please bow your heads.